happens to me after I die? That's an important question, right? What happens to my loved ones after they die? Also, really important question. And for most Christians, we would answer this by saying, well, after you die, if you put your trust in Jesus, you'll go to heaven for eternity. But there's a problem with that answer. It's not exactly what the Bible says. It's incomplete. The Bible gives a much more robust view of what happens to us after we die. If you want to learn more about what that view is, then watch this video. I want to encourage you before we get started to like, subscribe, share this video. It really helps out the channel and we want to keep doing these videos for you. So please do that for us. All right. So what about this question, right? What happens to us when we die? What happens to our loved ones when we die? Well, the Bible is unique um, among most other religions where most other religions have some sort of concept of an afterlife where your soul or spirit or essence of who you are goes somewhere else and spends eternity there, whether that be blending uh, with other souls, whether that be some sort of heaven or paradise. That tends to be the way that other faiths view the afterlife. But that's not what Christianity teaches. Christianity teaches is that yes, after we die, in a sense, we'll be with the Father. There will be this period uh, before the end times where we will be with the Father, we'll be in some sort of paradise or heaven, but that's only temporary. And after that, there will be a resurrection. You see, Christianity is all based around this concept of the resurrection. Just like Jesus was resurrected, so too we will be resurrected. So this is all throughout the Bible. Some examples are 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, uh, verse 14. Just as Jesus rose, he's going to bring us with him and we'll be raised. Um, you, you also see this throughout 1 Corinthians 15. But you can take a look at uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 15 uh, verse 20 through 26 kind of is kind of summarizes it a little bit, but you really see it through that entire chapter. And what we really get to here is that just like Jesus was resurrected, when Jesus died, he didn't just go and become a spirit. It wasn't a resurrection in the sense that he became a ghost. No, when Jesus died, his body was resurrected. Now it was changed. It wasn't a normal body. It became this body that that was still physical but also spiritual in essence. He could eat, he could taste, he could touch, but he also could show up into a into a locked room. You know, he just had a body that was physical but different. And that's the same kind of thing that we'll have. The, the Bible promises us, especially in 1 Corinthians 15, that the, just like Jesus had a was given a physical body in the resurrection, we too will have that. So that should kind of solve that first part of the question. What happens to us? Well, what happens to us is there'll be a time period of, yes, where we're with the Father in some way. But then, in the end times, there will be a resurrection. We will have physical bodies. They'll be better and different than the ones we have now. They won't be prone to decay. They won't be limited in the same way as these are. But they will still be bodies, not just spirits. So, notice I said, I, I talked about spending eternity in heaven. Well, that's another place where Christianity differs. Christianity is not based on this idea that you spend eternity in heaven. Actually, if you read all the way back to Revelation, to the last part of Revelation in Revelation chapter 21, especially verses 1 through 4, what you see is heaven and earth are going to be destroyed. 
and God's going to create a new heaven and a new earth. And in this new earth, that's where God's dwelling place is going to be. God is going to dwell with man. You, you see this new earth, this new Jerusalem, and we are actually going to spend eternity with God on a recreated earth, not heaven, but earth that has been made what it has always supposed to have been. So what we've got to understand is that, that the Christian story is all about recreation. In the garden, God's creation was was spoiled. But what God's going to do is God is going to recreate that creation. He's going to resurrect us, recreate us who have followed Jesus as our Savior, but also recreate the world so that we will be with him in his kingdom, submitting to him the way it was supposed to be from the beginning. So, just to recap, we will not be disembodied spirits who spend eternity in heaven. We will be resurrected humans who, who spend eternity with our God primarily on a new recreated earth. It's a very different picture. God did not just say, hey, Y'all, I'm going to help you to escape earth. God said, no, I'm going to recreate it. And I'm going to make earth what it was always meant to be. It's a very big, big difference. So I hope this has helped you to understand what the Bible teaches. And please like, subscribe, and make comments. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. But... I need you to do one more thing for me. I need you to like, subscribe, share on social media, comment, get the word out there. It really helps the channel. We really appreciate it. Thanks.